Hi, my name is John James. I've been exploring a run for U.S. Senate for the past two months, and I've been traveling around the state because I understand how important it is to listen and learn before you try to lead. I understand now what's most important to you is what's most important to me. Someone who's genuine, someone who cares, someone who's authentic, and someone who's also competent. Let's take the fight to Washington. Because we the people understand how to spend our hard-earned cash more than federal government. I promise authenticity and being genuine, so uh, you get the trash living room tonight. You get the hard-working wife banging away at the computer. Flowers for Mommy! Flowers for Mommy! You bumped your head? Yeah. Are you going to be okay? Hi! <laughs> Hi, happy Sunday! Happy Sunday! <laughs> we, hope your eyes <laughs> we need people who don't just talk about jobs and talk about uh, contributing to the community, but people who've done it, proven leaders who've actually brought jobs to the community and understand what it takes to create economic opportunity. Government needs to get out of the way. My values, faith and family, God and country, service before self. We need to start looking out for our grandchildren and not re-electing the same old people. John James, nominee for U.S. Senate here in the state of Michigan. God bless you. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Hunting terrorists in the skies above Baghdad, there are two things you need. Faith in God and a Hellfire missile. President Trump says the choice is clear. Conservative warrior John James for Senate. Michigan's GOP Senate primary, where Iraq War veteran John James beat fellow challenger Sandy Pensler by nine points. And now he's preparing to face off against incumbent Senator Debbie Stabenow in November's midterm elections. We did impressions. I have a passion for service that comes from deep within my heart, and I have experience getting results in the toughest of environments for people who trust me. John, I believe you should be successful before you get into politics. We need guys that have the guts. John James has the guts. So Joe Biden has said that he believes Republicans don't want black people to vote. Well, I'm a Republican. I want black people to vote. In fact, I want everyone to vote who's eligible to vote. I believe that a voteless people is a hopeless people. My dad grew up in the Jim Crow South, but he persevered and he taught me faith, service, and love of country. Man, look at this. Look around us. Look around us. This is incredible. This is incredible. This time last year, I was barely a candidate. And now the Republican nominee for U.S. Senate from the state of Michigan because of you. Because of you. anybody's little black box or little white box. I don't fit in their little red box with a little blue box. I'm red, white, and blue, baby. And I'll tell you what, when I get to Washington, is uh, thank you, of course, uh, for all of you coming, for all of you being here, for all of your love and your prayers and your sacrifices. We won tonight. We won tonight. You know why? Because we were tested. We were tested and we rose to the occasion. 